Well, some good news coming in. Uh, the ISRO maneuver uh, to put uh, Chandrayaan into, uh, the, into the, the, the correct uh, path towards the moon has been a success. Remember, it was a make or a break maneuver uh, to put Chandrayaan 2 uh, into the lunar orbit. And now the news coming uh, that uh, the maneuver has been a success. It was a very dicey maneuver because uh, if, the, if, if the satellite would have gone too fast, then it could have bounced off the surface of the moon and be lost in deep space. If the velocity would have become too slow, then it could have also crashed onto the moon's surface. So that is why it was a very tricky maneuver, a tricky operation to put the satellite into the moon, uh, into the uh, correct uh, sort of uh, moon uh, on its path towards the moon, a make or break uh, really uh, 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 operation uh, by ISRO. But the good news is that it's been a success maneuvering Chandrayaan 2 into the lunar orbit. Well, let's go across to Pallav Bagla uh, for more. And Pallav, the operation a success? Yes, I just heard from the Indian Space Research Organization that the make or break effort of putting Chandrayaan 2 into the lunar orbit which means that it is now being captured by the moon's gravity and will now rotate around the moon. So the Chandrayaan-2 will no longer rotate around Earth, but will rotate around the moon. And today's operation has been successful. It was a very tricky make-or-break operation, just like the way you said, Garki. And today's operation, where the Indian Space Agency had to fire the main rocket engine on the Chandrayaan-2 for about 30 minutes, has been successful. The exact orbital details as to how close they have gotten, what is the exact precision, we will get to know a little later. But what a relief. Now Chandrayaan 2, one step closer for soft landing on the moon on September 7th. Uh, oh. If today's effort had failed, then the next steps would have been uh, not necessary and would have been a failure. So a very big day and a very big success for India's space agency. Uh, uh, ISRO uh, has done this for the second time. Chandrayaan 1 in 2008 went through the same maneuver and they did it successfully. So two successive bullseye for ISRO in trying to put their satellite in the moon orbit. All right, Pallav, and now looking forward uh, to that lunar uh, landing, which will take place on, on the 7th of September. And for our viewers, uh, once again, if you could tell us uh, what, what this operation is all about. Uh, today's operation was tricky. But an even more tricky step is when India attempts to soft land on the moon on September 7th. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already announced that he will be present in the uh, mission control center when that happens on September 7th. Uh, that is a time when the Vikram lander will separate from the Chandrayaan 2 and go in for a soft landing. The ISRO chairman, Dr. K. Sevan, has repeatedly said those will be 15 minutes of terror for India and ISRO. And that is something which India has never done before. So soft landing on the moon would be a very big day. And if that happens, India would become just the fourth country after America, Russia and China to soft land on the moon. But the bigger thing would be India's flag would reach the lunar surface intact. 